Okay, people, let's go and clean some rugs. Oh, look, there's a mirror there, mirroring everything I do. Rugs. So I think it's time to get first. It's just a couple of blocks to the store, but... This episode, how are you doing to Wubbers and Wubbers? Welcome, so... Usually, I don't celebrate New Year's Eve or Midsummer's Eve. I just... Because I, I can't really take the stress and the drama... I'd sort of like to sort of step off, do nothing. Just sort of, it's like a little loop in your timeline. People are doing this and then they sort of, you step off and you sort of have a day for yourself, doing nothing or doing things. But it's like, it's like you get an extra day because you don't have to worry about Midsummer, Midsummer's Eve or New Year's Eve. So, today I will be washing the carpets. So, I booked time in the laundry room and then I realised, oh, I haven't got any cleaning products or any like, laundry detergent. Yeah, that's it. So, now I'm on my way to shop to buy some laundry detergent. Detergent? Doesn't sound right. Laundry powder. It's just a couple of blocks to the store, but it goes so much faster because I booked the laundry room and my time starts in about half an hour. And this washing, this laundering of the carpets or rugs will be kind of an experiment to see if it works because I've done, I've cut them up. So maybe this is sort of just will break up into threads. It is New Year's after all. So I bought quite a lot of coal up, but it is New Year's Eve after all. So this or these are the rugs I'm going to be cleaning today. So some of you might remember, I'm sorry that it looks a mess, it's not really that messy, it just looks it. Some of you remember that I had this great white carpet that I cut, cut up this summer and turned into sort of wall-to-wall -wall carpeting in my vestibule. But the thing is, I have not, I've just been cutting, I haven't been sewing or anything, so hopefully when I put that into the washing machine it won't fray too much I realize there will be some fraying hopefully not too much so the carpet is in three parts and I just realized now that it wasn't I think it was two white carpets or rugs that I cut up so this is one part this has nothing to do this is just I had an extra rug a round rug so I just put it here I don't know where to put it but this is not gonna get washed okay people let's go and clean some rugs Oh, look, there's a mirror there, mirroring everything I do. Rugs. So some people are lucky enough to have the laundry room in their apartment building. I am not one of those people. Let's see here. There's one house, two out, five houses away. That's my laundry room. I live in luxury. So we are getting closer. Some of you might recognize the room where we recycle room, <laughs> recycle garbage and door, next door. <laughs> the next door is the Tvetsduga. So to get in, you sort of blip and then you blip again to show them that you're here. And then this is my machine. It's for really heavy stuff like rugs and rugs. Oh, and someone forgot their laundry. People are assholes. So there's no problem getting the rug into. And let's see how we stop this motherfucker. So I think I did all right. I really... <laughs> so, oh, fuck. Yes. Good. See you later, operator. So this will be ready in 45 minutes. And usually when I do sort of 
regular laundry, I stay here. But now I think I'm going to go home and get another one of those rugs because, yeah, I'm going to wash all three of them. I thought I might just tie this one first, but then I realised I really have to, to sort of wash them. So if they can't take it, if they fray all together, I just have to throw them out. Oh, and here's this is a lending library. I think people just put their old books here and you can take them. It's a good idea. And some of you might think this seems so new to me. Do I never do laundry? But usually I do laundry at work because I'm a dresser. So I do the laundry while I'm working personal laundry and the laundry for the theatre. So this is just something I do. I just visit this place in the summer when we are on layoff and now on New Year's Eve. Oh, Happy New Year! No, I was supposed to say that. No, I was supposed to say that later. No, forget that. It's almost time to go back and I'm taking one of the larger pieces. See if I can fit that into the washing machine. Hopefully. So everything looks okay except that they, it added the machine added 10 minutes to the sort of cy cir circle cycle cycle so I'm here 10 minutes early fuck it so I guess it's just about done Okay, people, it's not that bad. I thought there would be much, much more fraying. But there are some pieces stuck in the washing machine as well. But on to the next. So the second rug is in the mix. And the first rug is drying. So this one is supposed to be ready at one o'clock. So I will be here one quarter past, I think. So I realised that I forgot to eat breakfast. So should I make breakfast or should I just have lunch? People, number three is in the washing machine, number one and number two is drying. So and the third part is almost done. It's winding down. Now, I'm not going to wait for that one to dry. I'm going to bring it home and let it dry inside the apartment because I can't be bothered anymore. I'm so done, done, done. Oh, I hope it'll be worth it. God, it's, things were so dusty and dry that my eyes are sort of... It's, it's like sandpaper. My eyes are like sandpaper. I'm home. People, it appears that there's certain parts of the rug missing, but I think it is because it's kind of wobbly right now. Hopefully when it sort of goes straight, when it's sort of really dry, then <laughs> this won't be, because this looks redonky donk, right? I think it's time for the first of three <laughs> vegan torta. Okay, so you won't believe this, but I've been lying in the bathtub for four hours reading a book. Four hours! Of course, I've sort of refilled the bathtub a couple of times because it was getting cold, but four